What's happening guys, Evan Texas. welcome to Setup Wars episode 172, where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. If you guys still haven't submitted those photos, what on earth are you waiting for? Click the link below and participate on the best setup show on YouTube. With that said, let the Setup Wars begin. So some of you guys know that I use a .tech domain for my business website, dealsource.tech, where you can find the best tech deals posted from various sources. And I also have edgar.tech, which can direct you straight to my YouTube channel. I got my .tech domain back in 2015 when it first launched, and it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. It just makes sense to have a .tech domain making tech content on YouTube. The domain extension has grown over the last four years. Even brands like Viacom, CES, and Intel have moved to a .tech domain. So if you're a programmer, a developer, or just a tech enthusiast like me, go get yourself a .tech domain for your dream startup, passion project, or your personal portfolio. Visit go.tech slash Edgar or click the link below and use the code Edgar to get $90 off one and five year registrations. Kicking off the episode is Bryce and his cozy setup from Iowa. So he's a student who also works as an auto detailer and he uses this setup for studying, photo editing, and light gaming. He has a single 27 inch monitor mounted against the desk and a second monitor against the wall off to the side, which I'm guessing he uses to watch videos from his bed. The desk is custom made out of a laurel oak laminate tabletop and some Ikea legs. And on top of that, we got the Cursor K55 RGB keyboard and the main reason why this setup is used for light gaming, the Logitech M310 wireless mouse. He doesn't have any headphones, so instead he uses a sound bar for all the audio. Uh, also a side note, those drawings on the wall are incredible. If you did those, you have some serious talent, but I do recommend putting those in a clear sheet so it doesn't get damaged over time. A fun little fact, when I was in middle school, growing up to even high school, I used to draw a lot. I was a big fan of drawing and I was actually a pretty good artist. And I was a big fan of Dragon Ball Z and a bunch of anime, so I used to draw a bunch of characters at the time. And uh, if I wasn't doing YouTube, I would definitely be an animator at some point. But growing up, we were poor and my mom couldn't afford to send me to drawing school. So here I am doing YouTube. And I always say, everything happens for a reason. Anyways, back to the setup. So Bryce also uses a MacBook Pro for mobility. However, the PC powering the setup is a blacked out custom built rig. And it's got the 7700T, 32 gigs of RAM, and the EVGA GTX 1060. Super clean work with the cables, by the way. And the same for the rest of the setup. We have a Signum holding the wires up and a bunch of Velcro that he used to tie the cables to the legs. A very cozy and productive setup with purpose. Thank you, Bryce, for entering. Next up is Chev from Canada and his Venom-inspired gaming setup. He's rocking two 27-inch monitors that are mounted on the IKEA Rigestad desk, which has an interesting design. Actually, I just checked and apparently it's supposed to be like that, but it looks like it's slightly modded so that it can mount against the wall without the legs interfering. Also, this is a much deeper desk than usual, so his monitors are further from his eyes. Obviously, the further away a monitor is, the smaller it appears. So a 27-inch monitor probably looks like a 25-inch monitor from that distance. For peripherals, he's rocking the Logitech G213 keyboard and the G300S mouse, which he drilled a hole for. And his audio gear consists of an RCA soundbar and the Turtle Beach Recon X50 headset, which he keeps in his drawer when he's not using it. Cables can definitely be improved by using a longer raceway like these, which also have a corner cover, and this will do a better job hiding those cables. The PC powering the setup is also Venom inspired with the red lighting and the AIO tubing, which can represent Venom's tongue, I guess, depending on how you look at it. I mean, it's a pretty badass setup, but it does need some cable tweaks to improve. Thank you, Chev, for entering. Speaking of Marvel, at number three, we have a Deadpool-ish inspired setup. Uh, I, I mean, I guess it's not Deadpool inspired just because he has a few wallpapers and a figurine on the desk. So we'll just call it a black and red setup. Any whoosies. So my man Danum is rocking an ultra wide and a 27 inch monitor, which he mounted against the desk. And he still has space for his massive gaming PC, which by the way, looks like the company ripped off of Cougar. I mean, is it me or do these cases look very similar? So the desk is from Ikea. It's a generic glass tabletop with steel legs, but it's built really well apparently, if it's able to support all of that gear without bowing. He's using the Asus ROG Claymore gaming keyboard with the ROG Spatha gaming mouse and a Corsair RGB mouse pad. I do like that he tied the cables together instead of running them straight across the desk like most people. 
Some other things on the desk include a skin Xbox One S and a Bluetooth speaker from Sony, which is the only audio source he has. The PC powering everything is actually his first gaming PC that he built, which was inspired by my videos. That's pretty cool. It's black and red themed, but it has RGB lighting and it's packing some serious power with the 8700K and the RTX 2080. This is a really nice rig for your first PC build. Nicely done. Even the cables are managed beautifully. Lots of zip ties, Velcro straps, and cable sleeves were used to keep everything underneath the desk. And for some reason, we have another table down here where his printer is. Obviously, I would try and move the printer somewhere else in your room. It just doesn't seem comfortable down there. Or as a last resort, you can also install a wall shelf underneath the desk to hold up your printer. It will free up a lot of space, giving you more leg room. Regardless, it's still a sick gaming setup and I'm really happy that my videos inspired you to build such an awesome gaming PC. Thank you for entering. Coming in at number four is Imus, I think, and his awesome laptop-powered productivity and gaming setup. The Lenovo Y700 is the star of the show, giving power to a couple displays. We got a 32-inch AOC monitor and a 22-inch Dell monitor mounted vertically. Imus states that this is temporary and that he will be building a gaming PC in the coming years that will replace his laptop eventually. Okay, so on the desk we got the Omen Gaming Keyboard and Mouse, which is basically a rebranded SteelSeries Apex M350 keyboard and a Rival 300 mouse. That's pretty much it on the surface. He did keep it clean and minimalistic. We also got a pair of Arctis 7 headphones resting on the side of the desk and no cables in sight. Oh, and there's also a Nintendo Switch on the other side. It's a pretty straightforward setup, not much else to it really. It's simple and straight to the point. Thank you, Imus, for entering, and I'm sorry if I butchered your name. And finally, we got Fabio all the way from Portugal with a badass modded PC desk. He uses this for gaming, watching YouTube videos, movies, and anime. You can't forget about anime. So he built a desk out of the egg back and countertop from Ikea and a large piece of glass. He 3D printed the fan grills and painted them in black. The RGB strip is connected with his Wi-Fi and can be controlled by Alexa. That's pretty sweet. And finally, check out the dope custom Predator LED logo in the center of three reservoirs. Obviously, those reservoirs serve no purpose other than aesthetics since the entire build is air-cooled, but it would have been awesome to see something like that on a water-cooled PC desk. On the side of the desk are two cutouts, one for the motherboard and one for the GPU, but I also love how he used grommets to cover up the holes that he drilled in the desk. The rest of the setup consists of a 34-inch ultra-wide monitor that's mounted against the wall and the Cooler Master Master Set keyboard with the SteelSeries Rival 110 mouse. Not much you can do with the cables because of the glass tabletop, however the rest of the wires are managed pretty good underneath the desk. He also built a custom mount for his TV that's right in front of his bed for watching videos and he channeled the cables back to the setup using a wall raceway. I guess my only concern with the desk would be airflow. I don't see any positive airflow going on. If those four fans are intake, then where is the exhaust? And if those are exhaust, then where does the air get pulled in from? I'm worried that the two cutouts on the side don't do a good job exhausting air out. Personally, I would have added a few more fans in the back of the desk as exhaust, but what do I know? I haven't built anything like this before. It's still a pretty sick project. Thank you, Fabio, for sharing this awesome setup with us. And that's it for this episode of Setup Wars. As always, make sure you guys comment below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup and why. If you guys want to see any sneak peeks on upcoming projects that I'm working on, you know where to find me. Thanks again so much for watching. As always, I will see your beautiful faces in the next video.